Prepare and lodge a business activity statement revisions. Log into Go Reports as you normally would and arrive to the dashboard. Select the clients that you want to do a batch revision for. Click on the client's name and go to Forms. Go to the client's profile, go to Forms, select Activity Statements as you normally would and select the period because I don't know exact date so I'm go for this purpose I'm going to list out all the activity statements that was due during this period. Note that the, lo the longer the period that you stated here, the longer it will take for, for GovReports to synchronize with the HR to list out all the activity statements that fall with during that period. Having said that, if you do know the exact activity statements that you, uh, that you need, to need to revise, you can put the exact date and it could be a lot faster. Click List. Now GovReports will synchronize with the ATO and list out all the activity statements that was due during this period. See, we in here we can see that there's a, this activity statement which has been processed and lodged and paid for on uh, or lodged on the 23rd of the 5th in the, on that date, but we now want to do a revision. We click on revision. Select the method how you want the data to be entered into the reports. On this purpose, we're going to do it manually. The preview of information cannot be changed as it is coming from the ATO. We now just basically make the changes, we'll go in and put in the details of the activity statements you want to adjust to. And assuming that we're happy with that, all the information is here. Do your decorations. We go and save and validate as we normally would and, and get clients authorizations. When we save, have saved um, and validate successfully, we go to save reports, select the activity statements, email it to your clients for authorizations. Once you have and that attachment of the activity state, the revised activity statements is attached. Send it to your clients to get signature. Once you got your client signature, you can go back to the say report, select the um, select the one that you has been approved, and lodge it. Once it has been lodged successfully, we can go back to the client's profile. It will take. It might take a couple of minutes before it comes through. It hasn't come through, but if it comes through, you can actually go into the report as you do now and email the receipts to your clients for records of the lodgements and of course any payment that needs to be made and uh, the lodgement receipts.